My name is Mayland and today I wanted to talk about how your pain is your power and how your power is your pain. In our society we kind of have this idea of some things are good, some things are bad and we like to categorise things. You know, even in movies and that sort of thing there's like a clear distinction between what is right, what is good, what is evil and that sort of thing. But where in real life, you know, things are a lot more nuanced and we don't see things as clear cut as that. And there's also kind of this ideal like it's better to be smart, it's better to be good looking, it's better to, you know, be mentally fit and healthy and all these kind of things. And everybody just wants all of these good things. But there's two sides to everything, you know, there wouldn't be good without the bad. You need that contrast to be able to see both of these things. And labelling these kind of things like anxiety as bad is actually quite detrimental because these things actually have benefits if you're willing to see them. And the good things that you think are good also have um, drawbacks as well. One of the things that I've realised recently is that I was talking to one of my friends and he was talking about how he was very confident and how his parents had kind of instilled in him that to have this great confidence and like belief and love for himself. And I couldn't really relate to that because I hadn't got that as a child. I hadn't really experienced that and I have a lot of doubt and mistrust with myself. And I always thought that that was a bad thing and that I needed to fix that to be confident because confident was a good thing and self-doubt and anxiety was a bad thing. But what I failed to realise is that that is a part of who I am and I can try and deny that and try and become someone else. I can try and be more like that person rather than and like deny that part of myself. Or I can kind of accept that I'm the t I am someone who has grown up and had the experience of being doubtful, of being very anxious. And I can see that as a bad thing and let that get to me and kind of overwhelm me and be labelled in this kind of bad kind of pile. Or I can see that the strengths that it's given me like I thought doubt was always this really bad thing, but now I see that it's a sign of my openness, my curiosity and my intelligence, because I'm going to be more open to new perspectives and I'm going to be more curious and open to all these different perspectives and that than anybody that's confident. Because if you're confident, you're set in your way, you know, you think you know what's right and you think you know everything and you're kind of confident in the things that you're saying and what you're doing. And I'm not, and that's my strength, because I will see all these different perspectives and I won't cling to any of them because I'm like, oh, is this right? Is this the right thing? Is that the right thing? And really at the end of the day, there is no clear answer to what is actually the right thing, but this doubt is actually a strength of mine. It's not a weakness. And this can be applied to like all sorts of things. And I just want, well, I wanted to say this so that you can reframe how you thought of yourself and kind of see the strengths that you think are actually in your weaknesses. But also on the other hand, you know, lots of people say it's really good to be intelligent, but that has a cost. These good things have a cost. You know, to be intelligent is to, is to be very frustrated because it's hard to find the truth. It's hard to see the things that are actually worth knowing and that are actually truthful and that are reality. And it sucks to be, around all these people that are kind of following the same things and that are a part of the the you know the the norm and they're just kind of accepting these things and being someone intelligent you can see all these things you can see the reason behind it you can kind of see things more for what they are and that's sometimes a weakness you know that that's not all a strength and sometimes it's easier to just be simple and just to follow these same things and do whatever you think is right and just follow the kind of norms you know you don't have to worry about doubt you don't have to worry about all these kind of things and stuffing up so your weaknesses your pain can be your power and your power can be your pain i'm trying to think of another example that i can give you so with anxiety that's a worry that's kind of something that you're worried about with other people and you think it's a bad thing but anxiety makes you more aware of, of things that other people aren't aware of. It makes you more, it brings you more present and makes you more realise like what's going on, you know? And that's like a strength that's in anxiety. So I just wanted to kind of t give you this idea so that you can think 
more fluidly rather than these rigid ways like black is black, white is white. You know, the yin and yang symbol, it's not just one white half and one black half. It's kind of like this weird curved kind of fish. And in each, in the black side, there's a white circle in it. And in the white side, there's a black circle in it because they're both parts of one whole and they're both in each other and they're both chasing each other because they're the same kind of thing and they make up like the one symbol. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.